Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com, world famous peelable auto paints, and this is my S3, and it's time to put a new color on it. So what does that mean? It's time to peel this car, and you guys are gonna hang out with us during the entire process. Let's get started, enjoy the video. So this car was sprayed in the Austin yellow color using frosted DYC Pro Line. Now there's a lot of ways that you can peel a car, but I'm gonna show you a process that is very effective and very easy. What I have here is a simple microfiber towel, and what we're gonna do is go around all the edges of each one of the large panels and use the microfiber towel's friction to just disrupt the edge of each panel. Then we're gonna peel each panel off, work our way around the car, and then come in and see if there's anything left over. So we got all of the panels off the car and it took Gabe and I about 22 minutes to get that done. Now you can see our avalanche gray base on the back and you can see our color and pearl coats on top. Actually there's a link in the description box below where you can watch us physically spray this car. You can see all of the color and base coats build up on each other. If you haven't seen that process yet, you can definitely check it out. Now the process isn't over here. The good thing is that these products don't use any glue or adhesives, so there's none of that to clean off the car. However, there are a little bit of scraps and some overspray left over, but they're very easy to clean because these products are dissolvable by solvents or dip dissolver. So we're gonna take that onto the car. Let me show you how we're gonna clean it up a little bit. So here's an area that went past the masking a little bit. We got a little overspray on the inside edge of this front fender where the hood comes down. So we're gonna take our microfiber and saturate it with some dip dissolver and just start working away at this overspray. All you have to do is be patient and little by little you'll get it to work away. This is another common area where you see some overspray or some leftover scraps in the door jam and down here along the bottom. A lot of times in this area you'll be able to peel some off. So always try to peel off before you start to dip dissolve. It's definitely gonna save some time. You can either just roll it back with your finger and then most of the time peel the majority off. But you can't do that all the way around. So again, we're gonna go back to the rag and the dip dissolver. Start working that a little bit. A lot of times this stuff is so thin it just flies right off. Sometimes some areas like this will just do some small controlled sprays and just kind of saturate the area a little bit, let it sit for a minute or two and then start the wiping process. Now here's another common area. Even though we use the trim tape to mask, we still got a little bit of overspray that went right by it. So you can see a faint line of green inside here.
So we finished up with the car and Gabe's gonna take it out back and give it a thorough washing. Now it took us about an hour and a half from the time that we started to peel the car until we finished cleaning it up. So the time that you spend peeling the car and the effort that you put into cleaning it up is directly correlated to how well the car was sprayed and how well it was masked. We've been doing this a long time and obviously we're gonna apply the product properly so the cleanup was very easy. But very simply, if you don't apply it properly or if you don't mask it well, it's going to take you longer and require more effort than this. It's just common sense. Now, if you have any questions about dipping your car before you do it or even after when you're cleaning up, you can always contact the customer service team at dipyourcar.com. You can chat with us directly on the website or you can email us at customer service at dipyourcar.com. If you want to dip your car, click right up here. It'll bring you to all of our pro car kits. There are hundreds to choose from and they all include everything you need. You just have to pick the size of your kit and you're done. This is Fonzie. I can't wait to put a brand new color on this car. I'll see you on the next video.